we had this interesting video courtesy of Ari Shafir's Instagram page where towards the end of his appearance on the Joe Rogan experience, he spoke pretty eloquently and pretty um, emphatically about some of his friends, three particular um, stand-ups who he feels like are overlooked in the industry and used his you know, platform and his time that he had on Joe Rogan to basically give them a shout out. And it got me thinking a lot about the videos I've, I've made about Brendan and Brian Callan and a few other people who have kind of done some faux pas over the years. I'm a fan of stand-up. I watch a lot of stand-up specials, but I don't necessarily talk about the ones I like. And one of my kind of gripes when I look at, you know, when I'm obviously checking out channels like The Court Ring or channels like... Um, nerd rotic or channels like geeks and gamers which i'm really a big fan of because they call out a lot of the hypocrisy happening in hollywood and um, and whatnot the one thing that i don't really like about them is that sometimes you feel as if like they don't really tell you the stuff that they really enjoy unless you watch the live streams if you watch the friday night's tights they kind of you know enthusiastically talk about stuff they like but in terms of their videos they produce on a daily basis maybe because it's the algorithm you probably get more hits and views i would imagine if i made a video talking about my favorite stand -up specials that i watched this year i'll probably get less views on those than i would do if i made a video about brendan shaw's latest faux pas right <clears throat> but watching this clip of irish if on the Joe Rogan experience made me think that maybe I should focus my attention on putting a light on people that I like even if it's you know insequential and it's not really you know it's not really going to move the needle a couple of hundred views or whatnot it's still some attention that they probably should need to get on their career in order to help the algorithm and obviously to help inform the decisions for clubs and stuff to hire them because it's not really a question about whether or not they're good or not it's more so a question about are people talking about them and i think Ari Shafir knows that and he went to use the opportunity to get people to kind of talk about them he basically implored the fans to go out and call local clubs in order to get the people booked and i think that's something i'm gonna take um on for myself and try to promote and shout out a lot of stuff that i like i tend to do it a lot anyway but when it comes to the comedy side i do tend to focus a lot on the negativity of the stuff that's happening or that can get a little bit boring you know there's only so much time you can talk about people's you know um supposed um indiscretions without it becoming a little bit trite or trite whatever that term is so let's quickly play the video here of Irish Shafir talking on Joe Rogan about his friends um Adrian Lapalucci, Lapa Lapa Sean Patton and Mike Vecchione there are three comedians in New York that are uh their names are Adrian Apolucci, Mike Vecchione, and Sean Patton. For whatever reason, they have slipped through the cracks. And they don't make the money they should, and they're not booked as much as they should. But I am telling you, as someone who cares about stand-up comedy, that they are great. Adrian opened for me on my whole last tour. She's now on the road this weekend with, with fucking Louis C.K. Um, she had the number one joke of 2019, a Parkland joke. The day after... Um, cut it from netflix because whatever but um you want to see it i put her album up on my youtube page um baby skeletons is her album she's great sean Patton, you might know from um this is not happening stories the cumin story the, the fake gay fashion um adrian's awesome uh and mike vecchio who's one of the best joke writers in new york he is someone who makes us all better joke writers by watching him he consistently crushes doesn't have the networking skills to get ahead. So if I just tell you, I thought this out, dude. If I just tell you they're great, you might look them up. Here's what I'm asking you to do, the listeners and the watchers of Joe Rogan Podcast. I want you to call your comedy clubs, your local comedy clubs. I don't want you to tell them because they're not going to book them just based on a recommendation. I want you to tell them, I will give you my email address and you can use it only if Adrian Appalucci, Sean Patton, or Mike Vecchione are playing in your city. And I think that's completely admirable. I won't play the whole thing. We'll check it out for yourself. But definitely big up Irish Shafir for that one. Um, a lot of people have some bad things to say about him. He does seem to divide opinion, which is probably the best um, trait any kind of artist can basically have. But in terms of supporting his friends and being a real student of the game and being a lover of the craft, um, he does seem to be one of those... Um, rare pure souls in that respect he kind of goes out of his way to always kind of speak about comics that he likes he's one to bring up he's kind of like similar to Bert in that respect you know as annoying they are as personalities they do really love stand up and they do go out of their way to mention people's bits to you know, watch people's specials recommend stuff people to watch so for sure if he's shouting those guys out they're definitely going to be people that we will be fans of so definitely check them out if you're that way inclined but for me myself I've definitely seen that as a call to action to be a little bit more 
vociferous in terms of my praise of people that I really enjoy their content instead of talking about the latest scandal Brendan Shaw, Brian Cannon and Chris Lea got themselves involved in because that can get boring after a while so that's my um, action that I'm going to take off the back of that so hopefully you will do the same in whatever guise that you want